Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the top five psycho kid freakouts in stores. Now, last week I reacted to spoiled kids being owned by their parents and a few of those examples, I mean a few of those videos, you know, I did think yes, the, the, the behavior of the kids was out of order, the parents were well in the right to, to you know, whatever punishment they were dealing out. But some of them were like crazy. I mean, people destroying laptops, Xboxes, phones. Like, you probably paid for that. Why destroy it? Just take it away from the kid for a while. And uh, I had to see if there was a part two, and I'm glad I found one because it's just, it's just. I think discipline, to be honest, is it's not being dished out enough. Young people today, young kids, it feels like they're just not as well behaved as maybe my generation or you know the generation after me but i guess every generation probably says that so yeah this video should be fun let's do it what's up everyone and welcome back to top five central today we're looking at the top five kids who freaked out in stores now it's a common fact that people love free money so if you're one of those people make sure you enter my free amazon gift card giveaway by clicking the top link in the description it takes less than five seconds to follow all the steps and you literally Okay, now I've got to give major props to this woman because she straight up says way more calm than I ever could, especially when you look at how completely crazy the kid is acting. I mean, he seems more upset and stressed out what? than like genuinely angry, but that doesn't mean it's not hard to believe the stuff that's coming out of his mouth. What the heck? Seriously, whenever he's not whining or crying about his mom hugging him too tightly, he's screaming that he's literally gonna kill her, and the language he's using isn't exactly kid friendly. I mean, what the heck? I mean, looking at him hitting and kicking and pinching like that, you're probably trying to figure out what the this mom did, ridiculous. and I think that might be the best part. Basically, this, this kid looks at least seven seven years old shouldn't be behaving like this whole thing kicked off because the kid wanted to bring a soccer ball into the store and the mom obviously said it wasn't allowed like uh, it seems a pretty stupid thing to get mad at especially since he probably knew he was going to get wrestled to the ground so to be honest at that point he's just trying to cause trouble for his mom Lucky don't man, goddamn pig. whoa <laughs> Jaden, stop unacceptable stop hitting Un me acceptable behavior Jaden, stop. Here, stop. Take He's this. literally hitting his mum. Stop. This yeah. is ridiculous. Yes. Oh! Yeah. Come on. He's sitting on the couch. Yeah. Is he biting her as well? Yes, we are. Stop hitting and kicking. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm not doing this all night, buddy. Stop! Why is he so Stop badly behaved? Number I've got a feeling that she's probably set no boundaries for that kid. Because I don't think kids just end up like that. I mean, what the heck? What do you guys think? Four. Okay, when it comes to bratty kids freaking out just because they don't know any better, there really is no better place than Super Nanny. And this might be one of the most extreme families on the show. I mean, things seem pretty simple at first, like the mom just has to take her kids to the supermarket. Easy, right? It's well, wrong. <laughs> pretty much everything that could go wrong for this poor woman does go wrong, and it's enough to make uh. anyone think twice about going to the store if they see any kids around. Like, things are bad before they even get out of the car. First, they got one of the kids crying and screaming her head off all because of a Care Bear book, and the other two are just sitting there looking super stressed out. It gets even worse, though, because as soon as they walk in, there's an argument about who's going to sit in the car, and then when all three of them do, all hell breaks loose. I mean, kids are throwing stuff and strangling each other, as well as just straight up running away, and I gotta say, it's pretty hard to watch. With that said, if you were the super nanny in this situation, would you let the kids get away with this, or how would you punish them? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, you can't let them get away with Barbara, it. you're you off to the can't. supermarket now. Yes, we're gonna go to the supermarket. It's hard to take them to the store by myself because I can't control them. When we arrived at the supermarket, all three girls were arguing who was going to sit in the cart, and it was real troublesome. <laughs> We're gonna see if all three of you are fit. Let's see if Leah can squeeze in next to you. I guess, you know, three, they're at that age, they're toddlers, aren't they? So they're gonna be difficult. This is every mother's nightmare. Children playing up in the supermarket where everyone else can watch you. Don't, oh. Jesse. Oh. Mommy, we need new paintbrushes. Hey, Jesse, what are you doing? Whoa, honey? Jesse. What the heck? She's got her in a headlock. Jesse. It was real troublesome for Barbara. And then Andrew was all over the place, running down all the aisles. Andrew? 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 
Number three. <sighs> Guys, how would you deal with that situation? Like, what would you do? I'm sure there's a lot of parents that might be watching this. Like, how would you avoid that happening in future? So it's normally up to a kid's parent to make them understand the difference between right and wrong. Not to mention stop them if they try and do something too crazy. But what happens when the parents are literally nowhere to be found? Like seriously, I have no idea where this kid's family was when all this went down, but I'm pretty sure they'd be really shocked if they saw the way their kid was acting. I mean, the first thing we see is cereal boxes and cookies all over the floor, and it's not hard to figure out who's doing it, because they start throwing food at the dude filming pretty much straight away. They start throwing I mean, they all seem crazy the angry as they're just filming. walking around and wrecking whatever they feel like, but the weirdest thing is that nobody else seems to care. Like sure, people are staring, but nobody's actually trying to stop this kid while they go around destroying the entire store. Where's the manager? I mean, don't just watch the kid wreck your store. Now, by the time the kid gets dragged out of the shop by his t-shirt, he's already managed to ruin every display and even sneak into the back room. So I don't wow. think there was even much damage left to do. Boy, we got a jit going ham in dollar store. I'm talking about a jit is going ham in dollar store. Believe that. I'm talking about... It. <laughs> this is Jit is mad. Jit don't got no family. This is Jit say fuck this shit. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Definitely. He's Cereal everywhere. It. Jit is crazy. We don't know who Jit this is, bro. Jit is just going hand, you feel me? I ain't caught nothing like this in a while. Hey, I'm talking about, bro. Like, what? Jit. Where is his dad? Where is his father? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of doing this as a kid. My dad would. <laughs> oh my God. He would. This is a kid who is crying out for some boundaries, man. Number two. Now I know a lot of people who are pretty proud of their Pokemon card collection, but I've gotta admit, I've never seen anyone get as intense about them as this next kid. Like these two guys are having a hilariously geeky conversation about their own cards while this goes down, but you really wanna be watching the kid in the background because what they end up watching is pretty extreme. Like it's pretty obvious what's happening. The mom tells him to put his stuff back so they could leave. And uh, how do I put this? He isn't really happy about it. I'm not even joking, he starts screaming and crying and at one point it looks like he's gonna throw the cards he's holding at his mom and his baby's This is a big, this this kid is like 9, 10? Sister, but thankfully he just decides you to keep doing the tantrum instead. Now he does leave with his mom eventually, but not without making such a huge scene that makes his little sister cry too. 100% though, the best part is the guy's reaction because they're trying so hard to pretend like they're not filming, which is literally exactly what I would do if I was in their shoes. Alright, stand in the way at least. Like pretend. <laughs> Spy, you're such a silly man. I am speechless right now. Hey, you I am speechless. <laughs> Number one. Wow. Wow. I mean, guys, what do you think of that? That is just insane. What would your parents have done to you if you behaved like that in a store? Let me know in the comments. Now, I don't know what's wrong with this kid. Like, maybe he's had too much sugar, or maybe he's just too excited to be at Chuck E. Cheese, but somehow he got away from his parents and managed to ruin literally everybody's day. Like, seriously, the amount of chaos this kid manages to cause is pretty hilarious when you realize just how small he is but I still feel bad for the random group of strangers that end up having to try and take care of him. I mean, he literally starts off by spitting at people and then he starts climbing on the machines and trying to reach inside them and all the people chasing him don't seem to bother him at all. I mean, at one point he's literally sat inside the basketball machine just happily dunking baskets and as weird as he's being, I've gotta admit, it's pretty iconic. Anyway, so many people try to carry this little dude out a bunch of times, but considering nobody knows where his parents are, he can pretty much do whatever he wants. It's a pretty ridiculous, but uh, I guess unfortunate situation. So let me know in the comments how you would handle it, because I know for a fact that if it was me, I'd probably get arrested for chucking a little kid right out the window. <laughs> I mean, where are his parents though? Where are his parents? He's ruining it. He's ruining it for everyone else in there. Get him out of there, man. Oh! Whoa! Did he just hit her? Oh. He spat. 
slam dunk. And there's a this video on the just... top five kids who freaked out in stores. Uh, that was just insane, man. I mean, look, look, I'm not, you know, my parents, <laughs> they were of the spare the rod, spoil the child generation. I'm, I, back, you know, back in the day, you know, I was naughty a little bit, you know, not, not, nothing like this, but, you know, talk back sometimes, you know, stuff like that. But I think you just need to set boundaries, clear boundaries that the kid knows if you do this, there is a clear consequence and they know what that consequence is. You just, because before these kids got to this level, they must have been showing undesirable behavior from early. You must have seen signs that you, this kid is badly behaved. You don't just end up like that. Crazy, I mean, the disrespect, hitting your parents, spitting at people, screaming loudly in, in public environments. My mind is blown. I mean, just, this is just not, this is not on, not right at all. Let me know guys what your thoughts are. I'd love to know. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.